Good afternoon, this is Sean Golden with Golden and Golden. Here to discuss the basics of what do you do if you're sitting home one day, you get an envelope, it's from the IRS, turns out to be an audit notice. Is it as bad as they make it sound online? Uh, what do you do, how do you respond, steps to take? Getting audited by the IRS most of the time is no big deal. It's this odd kind of fear mongering online where uh, attorneys wanna make it sound like you're going against the firing squad because you gotta notice maybe the IRS they have different information, right? Maybe they're auditing you because uh, you have a Schedule C and it's the first time doing it, there's some mistakes. Or it could be that uh, maybe you're being audited because you claim certain deductions or you claim the you know real estate, professional real estate, debt, whatever it is, it's typically not a big deal. You're gonna have plenty of challenges in your lifetime. A notice from the IRS is normally not that bad. Uh, there's various different types of audits that normally show up on a CP, which is a computer paragraph, different notices for different things. You may be audited for one specific issue, maybe cryptocurrency, FATCA, FBAR, et cetera, et cetera. Or your entire tax return may be audited where the IRS wants you to provide documentation, to substantiate deductions, income, things of that nature. Okay. So first step is just to determine why you're being audited. Okay. At the same time, you wanna make sure you're even being audited. The same way people throw around terms like tax evasion and tax fraud, just to describe tax violations in general, people throw around the word audit when they receive any type of notice from the IRS. It may not be an audit. For example, you may receive a soft letter. This has become very common with FATCA, the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, where hundreds of thousands of foreign financial institutions report US account holder information to the IRS. So the IRS shoots out a letter saying, hey, your tax return has this information or it's missing information. The, the, uh, the FACA reporting has this information from your foreign bank. You know, fix it if it's incorrect and, and things. That's not an audit, okay? It may be a request for additional information, substantiate deduction or claim that you took. That's not necessarily an audit either. It may be something that seems like an audit, like a CP2000 notice um, because of a mismatch. Maybe there's a mismatch in the W2 or the 1099s, et cetera and it may kind of sort of operate like an audit, but it's not technically an audit per se. So you wanna at least make sure that what you received was an audit notice. Now you wanna be careful before responding to the IRS audit notice because they're agents, examiners, and they're trained, right? You think you're just volunteering gobbledygook information, but you know, they're, they're, they're taking note of it. So determine what you're being audited for. Are you being audited for one issue? Are you being audited for multiple issues? Are you being audited for one year? Are you being audited for multiple years? Is the agent asking you to provide information on the document, uh, uh, information document request, an IDR, or not? You know, it, do they want you to schedule a, um, a, a meeting? Is it gonna be in person or is it correspondence? If it's a business audit, is it gonna be at the place of employment? Things like that. You wanna get a baseline understanding of the facts and circumstances of the audit. Then you want to determine based on what they're auditing you for, <clears throat> excuse me, whether you can substantiate that audit. If they're claiming, hey, we want to know that you really took these deductions, can you um, substantiate that you took the deductions, right? Or if you're claiming home off. I mean, at my firm, all we do is international tax, but you know, part of the returns normally includes domestic, and so we see it often and uh, often again and again. You know, if, if you've got, uh, if you're taking the, the home deduction, can you show it's only for businesses? Things like that, right? Can you clarify it or can you not? And if not, it's nothing to fire us. It doesn't mean you're going to prison. It just means you probably can't claim the deduction. Um, some agents are more lenient than others. Some are more reasonable than others, like any in anything else. Um, do you want to speak to an attorney beforehand, right? You want to consider it maybe, even if you plan on doing the audit yourself, you should find an attorney that specializes in that specific area that you're being audited in. Contacting someone who says they do international tax, for example, isn't gonna help you if you're solely being audited for real estate. So the best thing you can normally do is reach out to a board certified tax law specialist in your state um, or the near state, and then just you know de determine if you can find someone who focuses on that issue. Because some issues are, are very specific and there's many nuances. So before you start reaching out and just kind of gibbering with the, uh, with the agent, you want to have an idea of what's going on. Here, what we do is offshore disclosure. Um, if you're worried about possibly being audited 
for non-compliance with foreign accounts, assets, investments, and income, you can always reach out to us. We specialize in offshore amnesty, tax disclosure, reporting, things of that nature. Um, we have lots of free information available on our main website. We've got some sub websites for specific issues as well. Uh, my name is Sean Golding with Golding and Golding. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.